good morning. Time for Saturday Morning Sports Talk here on 1490 WDAN. And probably wondering why we're talking about bicycling in our opening music this morning. Well, we have a very, very special uh, interview to do. A uh, very, very special event going on over in Indianapolis at the at the, the, the shrine of Mike Holvey, if you will, over at the uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We're just hoping that uh, our participants from Danville stay on the track is and out of the, the hospital. Is that the day they're doing the bicycle deal? Matter yep. of fact, Mr. Barnes this is on is, his bike right now. Yep. In fact, we're going to go to the phone line, and we're going to say good morning, Tom. Hopefully, you've got the bell ringing, and you are going around the track. Uh, yes, I am. You guys see me okay there? Uh, I, I have no idea if we can see you or not. We don't have any kind of uh, monitor for... Uh, no, no, can you... Can you hear me okay? Oh, I was wondering. Hear, yeah, I can hear you just fine, other than the uh, heavy breathing. Well, no, that's the wind. I'm in turn two right now in front of the luxury suites. Ah, so uh, what's what's uh, what's the weather like over there? It's kind of cloudy, sprinkling a little bit over here. Uh, well, we've had absolutely no rain whatsoever. Um, and uh, it's got about a breeze, about 10 mile an hour. I think that as it feels like it's out of the northeast right now. It's supposed to shift to the west later. But we're about 10 miles an hour, so I mean, we're, we're doing okay. We just got a cloud cover. We've seen a little bit of blue sky, sun a little bit, but it's just, I mean, for bike riding, this is ideal weather. So the 13 people that are on the Cycles Plus team over here, we're just having an absolute blast that we're here today. So there's 13 people on your team. How many people total are out on the track right now? Well, I talked to the organizer uh, a couple months ago. They were hoping for 1,800. Brian Zorn is with me, and by the way, Mike Holden, if you're there, Brian's fine. He's still on two wheels. Uh, you're still upright, huh? Yeah, you know, Brian's still upright, yeah. Um, but uh, it, now Brian says the crowd seems to be down a little bit this year, but it, it's still uh, a, a good crowd. Um, a mixture of everybody. We got everything from kids. It uh, looks like the you know, organized teams. We got pelotons, you know, big, large group of riders going by fast on the outside. And uh, it, it's just a lot of fun. We're having a blast. But you're staying on Indy, the track there. You're not getting off the track. You're not going out in the out in the wilderness. You're all around the track, right? Y yes, correct. There, there are actually uh, three rides going on. There's a 50K, which is 31 miles, a 75K, which is whatever that ends up being, uh, about 50 or so. And they started about 15 minutes before the 100-mile riders did. They then went out at the first and second turn and then left the track at the exit of, the, of turn two. And they're out up in Boone County around Eagle Creek State Park. And then they will come back uh, toward the track and they'll finish their, way, their ride here on the track. They'll come into the back stretch at that same point and then finish their ride on the track. But uh, we're all doing the century ride. We're staying on the track. Right now we're, we're on lap eight of our test. And uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's been a, a dream of mine to always you know, be able to be on this track and see how it's doing what I'm doing today is just fun. So when you're on the track as your team, do you guys ride in single file? Do you kind of ride next to each other so you can talk them, you know, to each other while you're doing this? Or how, do, how are you guys lined up? Every man for himself. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, yeah, we've, we've got a few of us together. Right now I've got uh, Doug Ireland, who's the manager of Cycle Squad, good friend of mine. He's next to me on the right. Uh, Brian Burns on my left. They're basically protecting me right now because I've got – earplugs in so I can't hear them so my earbuds talk to you guys on the phone and uh, I, they're just basically protecting me right now because I'm slightly vulnerable I'm not paying too much attention to uh, what's around me because I'm, I'm talking to you guys so uh, but, but once we get back to uh, off air here uh, we'll start you know, riding faster again right now we're only doing about nine miles an hour but we've been as high as Brian and I've been up to about 25 miles an hour a couple times but we've been averaging about 18 we did our first uh, hour and two minutes we did our first seven laps yeah, we're on, we're on good place to have a good a good day here, Tim. Wow, that's it. Just 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 want, listen for horns. That's the big thing. Listen for horns because you don't want any car coming up behind you, uh, especially at the at the speeds that they're going to be going. Yeah, well, what we're listening for is is um, basically the sound of lots of tires coming at us, and that's the peloton. In fact, one just went by me like real fast. We would have heard him, but like I said, I got earbuds and I would not have heard him. So that's why I'm glad these guys are around me right now. Yes. Making sure that I stay safe while I'm on the interview. But once we're done, well, we're all paying more attention to ourselves. Everybody on your team goes at different paces then? Uh, yeah. Uh, we got, um, in fact, Brian and I and, and Deb uh, have already passed one of our riders. Uh, but she's, uh, it's Julie Colby from the Gardener Show on Wednesday night here on DAN. Uh, she's over here, but she's off some recent surgeries. And so she's not in 
top shape for herself right now, so she's going a lot slower, and we expected that, and so did she. And so we've already uh, passed her. I think she's already passed back up over us, so we're, we're about two miles ahead of her. But we're all just riding our own paces. If we stay together, great. If we don't, uh, it, it's fine. But we're out here we're just having fun. And here's the cool part. Um, the, the, the reason why we're riding, in fact, the Peloton's going by us now. I'm not sure if you can hear that, one of them. Um, but the reason why we're here, this is a fundraiser for the American Diabetes Association. And I... I am blessed to have some very good friends, co-workers, and, uh, and uh, clients that work for the radio station that have my fundraising campaign. Every writer here has to raise minimum $200 just to participate in the event. And I was hoping to get 200 maybe 250 or something like that. In the last 48 hours, over $600 of donations have come in on my campaign alone. And our total for our team, we were hoping to get maybe 3100 maybe about a month ago. We went up to $4,700, and there are three categories of teams here. You have the club, or, the, uh, club organization, which is kind of like bike clubs uh, that uh, get onto a, a team. They have the corporate teams, which, you know, says itself. And then they have the friends and family, which is what we got under. And uh, with those extra donations that I received and some that some of our other members received, we, we are the first place team in fundraising as of this morning in the friends and family category. So, and this all started with an idea from me. A year ago, I wanted to ride this. I talked Doug Ireland into it. Uh, and then we talked into some other people. And it just grew and grew and grew. And 13 total people want to come over this. And I'm just thankful to have some good friends like that. And I've made, some, you know, made them even better friends of mine because of this. But again, $4,700. And we're not done. We can still raise money. People who are listening right now, if they go to com. On the top of the home page, there's a rotating message. One of them says, Tommy B is writing for the cure. If they click on that, you'll see our, uh, my story about why I want to do this and a picture of some of the team members on there as well. And there's a link at the bottom where you can donate to the cause still, uh, to my team or whether it be to, the, to my campaign or the whole team's campaign. doesn't matter which. And it all goes to the American Diabetes Association. And uh, that, that's what it's all about. I mean, we're all here. We have red riders over here. Those are the people who have diabetes who are riding. And they call them Red Riders. And when they go by or we go by them, whatever it may be, people are yelling, go Red Rider, go. And the camaraderie amongst them, they're all wearing red jerseys, special red jerseys to say I'm a Red Rider. And the camaraderie with them is amazing. By the time this day is over, it's, it's just one of these days I'm never going to forget. For two reasons. One, just the event itself, and two, riding the track. But it, this is definitely a very, very memorable day. Okay, well, if you get a chance to put Ireland into the wall, make sure you do that, just just, just for me. Uh, I, I will probably not want to do that because um, he's got a more expensive bike than mine, and <laughs> I would have to pay for it. <laughs> and it's not his bike either, it belongs to the company, so I think he'd be a little mad at me. So I, I will decline that uh, request from you, how's that? Well, yeah, <laughs> decline the request, but pass it along, because I'm sure he'll want to know. So you- I will pass. Are you keeping track of Brian so he doesn't have to end up in the hospital? Yeah, yeah as I mentioned, he's on my left right now. He's one of my guards right now. Um, uh, I, I call him that just now, but as soon as I hang up the phone here, uh, it's, we're just going to start flying again. Well, we went up to about 13 mile an hour because we got the wind behind us now. We're going down the front stretch. This is the coolest thing in the world. I'm, I'm talking to you guys. I'm literally right at the end of turn four. The white line that says, you know, be on the left side of this to go into the pits. The big Sunoco sign is there. The grandstands are coming up on both sides. I see the scoring tower. I see the flag stand down there, the pagoda. This is an awesome sight uh, to be on this. So, uh, And here's the thing. I'm just going to let you know. I'm doing this next year. I think Doug will probably do this as well. So if anybody wants to get involved in this next year, start training to be, have the stamina and endurance to ride 100 miles. Even if you just want to do the 30, the 50K or the 75K, start doing it now. Get with me later on in this year, and we'll get going. But we'd love to have more people on this. 13 is a fantastic number, but we would love to have more and raise even more money for the diabetes research. But uh, if they want to get in on that, we'd love to have them for next year. Is there 100 miles as a limit, or some people do 150, or is there any limit? I'm, sh- I'm sure we'll have a couple people who will probably go more than the 100 and just kind of say, heck with them, I'm going to keep riding. It provi- we-, we have to 4 o'clock Eastern time to get done, oh, okay. which I- that probably means that at 345, they'll stop riders starting new laps. I would say somewhere in that vicinity, uh, and they'll just say, okay, you're done, and if you're on the lap, you can finish it, but if you haven't started it, they won't let that. That's my guess. 
I don't know, but at the pace we're going, we should be done long before then. But we're going to get a break here uh, probably in the next uh, three or four laps, next, next three to four laps, maybe, you know, maybe less. We'll do another one about the 50-mile mark. 75, we're going to make a quick break. Because by that time, our bodies are saying, if you stop, I'm stopping. So we'll just stop, refill the water bottles, grab a snack, jump right back on, and get on the saddle and keep going. Uh, right now, by the way, I am crossing the yard of bricks. That is the coolest feeling in the world, guys. You've got to do this someday. Well, uh, that kind of leads me to my final request, Tom. I know you w you wouldn't do the other one, I understand. But at the end of this, get your team, kiss the bricks, take a picture, and let us see it. Yeah. Oh, oh we weren't playing on that. I, I told everybody on the team, no one's leaving. Even you know, like we, if people finish early, they can't leave. So we're all done, and I'd love to get a team picture of us kissing the bricks. Uh, Julie Colby, uh, having been mentioned with the Gardner uh, program people, her husband is over here taking pictures for us. So we're going to have a lot of pictures going. Uh, that we'll have, and, and I'll try to share those on our Facebook pages uh, a little bit later on. But speaking of which, i got to get one on our uh, D-102 Facebook page. I promised that I would do that for people that haven't done that yet. So uh, if they go to facebook.com slash D-102.danville, we'll have some pictures up uh, shortly. When we do that break, I'll try and get some of those posted so people can see what's going on, uh, and we'll try and share those over the WDAN Facebook page as well and have some fun. So in the meantime, the entire time I've been talking to you, I've almost completed one full lap. <laughs> Hey Tom, uh, since you are raising money for the American or the American Diabetes Association, uh, IndyCar driver um, 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 Charlie Kimball is the first known uh, driver to be allowed to race with diabetes, and in he has a special device that he uses to monitor uh, his blood sugars throughout the race. Uh, when he's you know when he's actually driving an Indy car, uh, which is really something, and and he's a, he's certainly a huge advocate for it. Didn't know if he was involved in some of the festivities today. Not that I have seen. Um, when we're out on the track for the opening ceremonies, it's tough for us to hear. And about 15 minutes into it, I realized why there are no speakers pointed toward the track because if you're on the track, usually you're doing 230 miles an hour, you can't hear anyway. So so it's tough for us to hear. But I do not believe that he was involved in opening ceremonies. However, we did get a national anthem in, and we did get a single that back home again in Indiana. Did you so get a flyover, though? Did they bring the jets in? <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, the only jet flyers over the ones taken off from Indianapolis uh, International Airport. We've seen a couple of those. But that, they that's brought a Piper Cobo. <laughs> and you also should have had Doug Ireland, honorary Tom Carnegie, and he's, and he's on, on it. <laughs> as we you forgot guys... to do that. Yeah. We forgot to do the and he's on it, the Tom Carnegie thing. Yeah, yeah. that's that. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, it was, it was, it's a nice start. It's one of the coolest things. Uh, the only, the, the, the thing I said, I, I kind of um, did Flounder's line from the Louis Animal House when we're out here on the track and we're doing, oh boy, is this great! <laughs> <laughs> we're having fun. We're, I mean, really, it's, it's all fun. But again, raise the money for the American Diabetes Association. But, but it's, it's, it's all fun and we're having a blast. All right, Tom, keep it between the whites and uh, we'll see you guys when you get back. All right, will do, guys. Thanks for letting me call in on the show today. I appreciate it. And, and again, if people want to donate to that cause, uh, BrewingCountyFirst.com, click on that Tommy B's writing for the cure icon, and they can donate there if they'd like to. It'd be greatly appreciated. Anybody suffering from diabetes, i got a family member type 2, any other family members diabetic could also suffer. So I'm, I'm writing for them and all the other people I've met over the last six months who, are, uh, who have diabetes and who are you know, writing with it or writing for someone with it. So that's what we're out here for. All right, thanks, Tom. All right, guys, have fun. See ya. All right, thanks. That's Tom Barnes. Man, that would be kind of cool being cool. able to come around, turn it. four, and look and see, you know, the stands and the pagoda and all that. I mean, that's